Hey guys, welcome back again. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Joker figure from Mafex from the Suicide Squad. This is the tuxedo version. Uh, this guy is pretty cheap online right now. I saw him on Amazon uh, right before doing this. He's $28 uh, shipped with Prime. I mean, it's a really good deal. I'm kind of looking at him through the box real quick. The facial uh, real scan of Jared Leto, I mean, it really looks like him. The paint apps look great. Um, what's really cool in this one, I didn't even realize he came with an upper torso um, with an extra, of course, head sculpt of Joker from Arkham, um, where he's laughing and stuff. But what's really cool about it, it actually is supposed to snap onto the purple trench coat Joker from Mafex from Suicide Squad. I actually already had that figure before I got this one, so it'd be pretty cool to snap that on there and take a look at that. So it's, it's kind of cool when you buy both of them, you kind of get uh, three in one, and um, it'd be kind of cool to switch things out and just see what all you can do with it. So let's take a look at the box. Um, you know, right here, you got, you know, Jared Leto Joker right there with his uh, tattoo in his hand across his face. And, um, you know, the uh, clear shell right there. And then him laughing, which you take that head sculpt that's on the uh, upper torso and put it on here uh, with the machine gun. And you got him over here with his creepy look and the cane. And then on the back, it just kind of shows you uh, the different um, head sculpts and the upper torso and then accessories and stuff there and uh, nothing too much there or there so and this is the Joker figure out of the box and right off soon as I was kind of messing around with him moving his arms around and stuff uh, some people were complaining about some loose joints and stuff in the figure um, his arms didn't fall out easy at all um, you know I kind of moved him around a lot and we'll take a look at the articulation in a little while but it was a pretty solid figure. Um, didn't feel cheap or anything like that. I think they did a good job on that. Um, in this figure, you can see, um, you know, Joker's kind of got just the creepy look on his face. The other one um, that we have with the purple trench coat, it's kind of just a real, like, um, angry, mean kind of, um, I don't know what you'd call it, a snark look on his face. I don't know. Anyway, um, but, you know, it's cool to get two uh, completely different figures and two completely different head sculpts, um, you know, I'd hate to see that he just used the same one. But let's kind of look at the um, accessories that came with him. And like I said, you know, it comes with this upper torso uh, joker um, that's supposed to snap into the leg part of the, um, you know, the, the trench coat, purple trench coat joker. And you see it's just a, you know, peg right there that goes in. His arms doesn't move, the trench coat is hard plastic. Um, of course, his head comes off if you want to put it on the other figure and stuff like that. But um, it's pretty cool that they threw that in. Uh, I noticed Mafex does that a lot of times with um, their figures. I think it's the, the I don't know what you call it, the nightclub um, Harley. She comes with the, the um, underwater breathing mask, uh, Batman, you know, uh, head sculpt. And I think maybe something else I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty cool that they threw that in. And let's look at his machine gun um, like I said I'm not a gun guy but it kind of resembles more of AK-47 with the stock part over here cut off um, I could be completely wrong but anyway I think they did a great job in there the gold looks nice um, a silver and a white in there as well you know overall I think they did a good job on it and his handgun get the focus on it I think they did a really good job on this uh, the details and the barrel and on the handle and stuff. I mean, they did a really good job on that. Uh, the paint's not messy or nothing, looks really good. See, kind of nice metallic purple. And uh, just for sake of time, he comes with, I think like three or four sets of different hands. I just did this one just to kind of see the detail of the, you know, the tattoo um, on his hand that he kind of puts across his face sometimes in the movie, um, especially in the nightclub scenes. But um, for sake of time, I mean, there's multiple left hands, right hands. I think they basically kind of rotate back and forth, um, right and left, and, you know, so you can switch them back and forth. And we got a good upgrade of the cane from the other one. Uh, the handle part here has a lot more detail in it. Um, you know, a little bit more down here at the bottom. It's hard to get that in focus. But um, I think this one looks a lot better than the one that came with the purple uh, trench coat. I mean, the other one's still great and is nice and stuff, but they just put a lot more detail into this one. So, so anyway, let's take a, some close look, looks of the figure. 
And I keep saying tuxedo. I'm pretty sure it's a tuxedo version. I know he wore like a um, black version too, where he was shooting out of the back of the helicopter. But I mean, that's a tuxedo, right? Yeah, just a, kind of a retro looking one. Uh, the tie gives it away, I guess. He just don't have it tied. He's full of me. But anyway, uh, but it's pretty cool. You know, he comes with a set of hands that he has on him as well. Um, you know, he has multiple other ones that come with him. And this is a soft rubber. You know, the jacket moves around. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. He's got a, you know, ab crunch. Ooh, and see that pops off actually way easier than I thought. Um, I don't think I'll be bending him like that, but uh, that did, <laughs> did surprise me for a second. I was like, whoa, what was that? But anyway, it looks like it kind of just, yeah, it pops back on there easy. I just wasn't expecting it to pop off this so easy, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. But anyway, uh, he has a really good ab crunch if you want him to, and so, so back. I think that's probably about as far as he'll go back before that um, joint right there will pop out. And uh, his arms aren't really limited at all. You know, you have, that looks a little weird though, don't it? But I don't see, oh, why would you do that? But anyway, it looks a little weird. Uh, but, you know, it has it where you can move him around and stuff, but it pushes back up in there fairly easy. And I don't think you would be doing too many kind of crazy different ones like that. Opposes of the Joker. I mean, he's not uh, like Nightwing and be jumping around doing crazy stuff, but that's pretty cool. And I mean, these arms come out and... Uh, I'm gonna to try to do something with the, the purple trench coat. I hope it'll work out. I think it'd be pretty cool. But um, of course, you know, he's he's got a shirt underneath here so you can't see his tattoos, but he has a little bit of a tattoo right there. You know, and then of course, you know, let's kind of get him close and look at his face. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. I did a good job on his tattoos and stuff. Yeah, I like it. Let me take a look at the back. You know, there's this, uh, I kind of like how his hair's not just flat molded, slicked back, but it's kind of layered there, you know, where, um, I don't know, it just looks better. He doesn't have just that um, molded, you know, comb back hair with lines cut into it. And that there's, you know, varying different colors of green. So, you know, looks pretty cool. And uh, then he has pants here. You know, of course he has pants, but um, it's just, you know, regular black pants with a silver stripe down the side. And, uh, you know, he has that hip drop down that you see in a lot of the Mafex figures if you want to, it doesn't do it too far, but you know, enough. And uh, he kind of kicks out. Let's get that back there where you guys can see it. Kicks out, push that back up in there. Uh, that's a little tight. Oh, I don't want to break it. Okay, there we go. And uh, it says so, not too bad. And uh, his feet. It, they're kind of limited by the pant leg right here, though. But like I said, I mean, you're not going to be doing too many crazy things with the Joker anyway. But let's look at the shoes. The shoes look pretty cool. They did a good job of detail and stuff on that. I think both. Yeah, that's got like the mouth and stuff on it. On the Hot Toys figure, he's wearing uh, the the boxer uh, trunks and stuff, and it has the mouth on that foot too as well. So that's pretty cool. So I went ahead and switched the bodies out. As you can tell, I did a lot on here. I switched out the upper torso um, Arkham Asylum uh, with the um, purple trench coat um, legs. I'll show you in a second where it says Arkham. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, you could switch the head out to the one, and now this head sculpt is to the purple trench coat with a more mean, angry face. That can go on there as well. And if you could find like a 1 12th uh, scale uh, chair or something, you could kind of recreate that Arkham scene with Harley. And um, I kind of took the torso, upper torso part with the tattoos and everything, all the purple trench coat, and replaced it with the jacket and the arms. And um, I think that looks pretty cool. I remember one time, I think it was Hobby Lobby or whatever, I saw these little gold uh, link chains. It'd be kind of cool to throw those on there as well. I really like how they did so much detail on the tattoos. I wish we could have just got one with um, the shirtless one. So like when you saw him in Arkham and stuff, it showed all the tattoos and like tattoos on his back and stuff like what the Hot Toys figure does. But either way, this is pretty cool. And I, I really like it that you can do so many different variances with the figure. But I, I'm really happy with it, you know? Um, especially right now, you can get him for $28. And especially if you had the figure before, I mean, you really make out well with different uh, uh, things where you can switch around and get multiple different looks for the figures and stuff. So I think that's really cool. Um, let's go ahead and compare him uh, next to the SH Figure Arts um, Harley Quinn. 
And I think that looks really cool. Uh, I got Harley, of course, on a stand because she's got those boots and she always falls over. And that was another thing too, I really like that Mayflex does, is they always include a stand. Um, SH Figure Arts don't always do that. Um, anyway, you can't see it, it's focus. But anyway, I think that's really cool. So anyway, um, I yeah, hope you like this video. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be always be doing giveaways, so make sure to check back on my channel and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.